Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Choo Choo Charles. I'm Karen Maku. And I'm Cody. Okay, I'm still placing bombs. Yeah, we're not doing it to incite, incite acts of terror upon common people. We're doing it to kill a giant train demon. Doing it to incite acts of terror against spiders. Uh, yeah. Which I feel like we can get away with. And also, as of last episode, I, I still think Charles is at least somewhat biological. But I am willing to acquiesce and say that he has supernatural elements. But at the same time, things that are supernatural are merely science that we don't understand yet. So... So, I think that it, he could still be a natural organism. Like a biological organism that exists here on this planet. He's just weird. Yeah, what's up? So yeah, that's that's my that's my piece on it. I still think he's biological. He's just biology that we don't quite understand yet. Did we do it? Did I do it? Did I plant the bobs? Did I get a good job? Dad, you good? Then that's Charles the is like spider leg just reaches up and island. stabs him. So I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Thank oh, cool. You. Once you think you're prepared enough. You can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. Cool. Okay, so that's the key for the final boss fight. Now we need to go get the last spider egg, I think. Yeah, uh, check your map before you go out into the spider-infested universe. Okay, cool. Uh, oh yeah, like... and there's a weapon thing right there. We go here. Right? You can, or you can get the weapon thing and then just loop around. I guess, like, if I go here, we can also hit this while hitting, also hitting this. Yeah. And then we'll hit the final place. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Ah! <laughs> Paul Kogan, but he's constipated. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish we could have characters like Hulk Hogan or Macho Man Randy Savage. Why? Because those characters are just hilarious. Okay. You know, where it's just a character who constantly sounds like they're trying to, like, shit themselves. And are so filled with steroids that they're just, like, juiced to the gills. Okay, anyway, so... Cream that raises to the top. Right, right now, we'll try to hit that one. Okay, cool. Get a new weapon to fuck Charles up with. I'm so glad you're having a good time. <laughs> Is it so wrong for me to enjoy, try to enjoy playing video games with my wife? Yes. Why? You pervert. <laughs> All right, man. Would you rather pervert. do this by yourself? <laughs> Going the wrong way. I know. Back up, idiot. Go back, stupid head. I wonder if Charles is ever idle. What do you mean? Like, is he ever just, like, sitting around not doing anything? I mean, maybe. Hmm. What's up? None. I'm just nervous. Why? There's a spider out there, Cody. Yeah, but look at the scenery. Mine. You open it and Charles just squished into it. <laughs> 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 uh, I think it's already facing the right way. Huh? The turn thingy. I don't think it is. You sure? What was that noise? Uh oh. Oh shit, there are people shooting at us. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. I mean, we have to go back. Yeah, we do, but it's really funny. You should probably switch to the machine gun, not we or not. Nah. Okay. Don't they not have like a, um, like a limited amount of these? Yeah, you have unlimited ammo, I think. Oh hey, weapons. there's another guy! Get him out of here. Oops, missed him. Did he say I'm out of here? I'll get him on the second pass. Yeah, I'll get him on the second pass. Hang on. Is he standing directly? <laughs> what? Did I hit him? I. I <laughs> <laughs> it was just a speed bump. It was just a speed bump. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So there's supposed to be like weapon parts somewhere here. Ooh, scrap. Scrap. Oopies candy. Uh, are we good? Yeah, we're good. What, what, what's wrong? There's a spider out there, Cody. Yeah, but this is a big island. 
Maybe that's why it's so rare to get attacked by Charles. This island is just that big. Tom, what have we told you about leaving your lunch lying out? Oh, can no, I, these are the masks. Can I not take one? No, why would you? Why can't I? Because you're not a part of the cult. But I want to be. It's rude. You're insulting their culture, I think. They don't have a culture. They're British. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, I got two. Are you okay? I shouldn't be here. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. That guy scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. Where is he? I think he, he, he didn't call you. I think you got him. <laughs> ah. It's like, I'm so glad I scared him. <laughs> <laughs> My mask collection is safe for another duck. Oh, an old guy, jeez. Damn. He lived a full life, I think. Why can't I take any of these? Because it's a cultural thing. I don't care. You racist. I am racist. And I wear it so well. <laughs> How many scrap do you have? I don't know. I'll check in a second. We've been digging for over a month and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Yeah. I might not be the sharpest tovel in the light bulb shelf. Anyway. What was I saying? Yes, we are going the wrong way. The train's facing the wrong direction. No, it... What do you mean? We're going this way. Yeah, but for the weapon thing. You could have just ran here. <laughs> you could have, but like... Shut up. Why do you gotta make things unnecessarily hard? Can't wait for you to get jump scared by like three more dudes. I'm gonna watch myself, Cody. Man, the most dangerous animal that can choke on a ham sandwich. Shut up! <laughs> Just shut up, you. I don't know why that's always like hilarious to me is that like billions of years of evolution have turned us into the apex species on this planet and we literally can drop a star on people we don't like and also choke to death on a ham sandwich you're be, you're a dingus there's gun parts around here somewhere she said they were like in the camp yeah but where in the camp i don't know i'm just as confused as you are oh hey charles <laughs> Don't worry, you're on a hilltop. Spiders can't climb. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, your train has some damage to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was from when I ran that guy over. Oh, right. Kind of forgot we did that. Oh, key. Oh, that's probably to that building. Which building? Uh, it's the one like your train is parked right next to. One that's like at the very bottom. Yeah. Why would you keep a key to a place near that place, Lonnie? It's bad planning. You're a bad tactician. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> Do you see Charles anywhere? No, I don't see him. You'd probably lie to me about that. Why would I lie to you about because that? Because you want me to fight the spider. I would not lie to you about Charles being nearby. Mm -hmm. It's way more fun for me if you, like, see him coming. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm I'm about to run into another dude, right? Maybe there's probably one inside that building. Just from like a gameplay perspective. You come in and there's like a guy in the middle of hanging himself. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh shit. Oh, this is the gun. I'm building the gun. Bob acquired. All right, cool. Cool. And is that both... stronger than the rocket launcher, I wonder? I don't know. Next time I see some cultists, I'll test it out. <laughs> oh, that's Charles. I mean, then again, it's also a very loud whistle. He could be nowhere near. You don't fucking know that. I don't. He 
He's probably pretty close, though. But you also just got a new gun, designed specifically to take Charles out. Yeah, but I need to back up. Just loop around. You want me to just loop around? Well, I mean, why not? Fine, I guess I will. If nothing happens, we'll just cut when we get there. You should also equip Bob. Yeah. There, Bob's equipped it. Now you can unleash hell on his spider face. Besides, we're supposed to be weakening Charles, I think. Train has fucking asthma. Okay, so... Ah, box! No! <laughs> Damn, and this, you could use a scrap from that box to upgrade one of your points on the train. Box! <laughs> <laughs> you just jump out like... <laughs> rolling across the ground until you come to a stop 20 feet later. <laughs> Worth it! Oh, this is it's not like anything I've ever thought of. <laughs> I, they just, that's completely different from movies. Uh, they don't give you any advice other than you're supposed to like roll a little... <laughs> Yeah, and then once you get to the, uh, thing. Yeah, once you get to, like, the second split, you can just hop out and turn it the right direction. Actually, I should have it on, on, right here. Yeah. Mm. Man, Charles is really afraid of us. Shut up. Because he knows we're awesome. Fearing spider train. I don't, I don't know where he is, and I'm scared. Well, if you don't know where he is, then he doesn't know where you are. That's not true. That's absolutely true. My logic is infallible. I will not be taking questions. Shut up. <laughs> and then I hit a guy. Not even a cultist, just a normal person. Yeah. Out for a Sunday stroll. Okay, so this is the first turn. Yes, the turn after this. I swear to God, if this is when Charles decides <laughs> to show up. I mean, like I said, say what you will about the spider tree. You cannot be deceived. Okay. You turn around and Charles is just sitting there. He's, like, replaced my train. Sup. What are you gonna do, idiot? I'm not Charles, I'm... Barls. Carls. Carl, Carl's Jr. Seems like that, right? Nailed it. Got him. They're none the wiser. She'll never know it's me. Oh, he's coming. <clears throat> Is that a cultist over there? Did you see that? Was that a cultist? That guy, these guys are really earning their paycheck. Oh, we're passing. We're passing. Please let Charles appear now. It'd be the perfect time. You're going over the cultists. Oh, Charles is nearby. How can you tell? The music. It's okay. Man, your kneecaps are like fucking mush now. Can't get you in here. Yeah, I know, but I was just making sure that the cultists didn't see me come in here. <laughs> hey, did you hear what sounded like a guy falling down rocks screaming? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Just making sure. Too bad you don't have a way to fight the cultists without your train. Okay, how close can I get? Do I, though? I mean, I don't imagine they can see very well. Maybe that's why they have the shoot on sight order. Okay, uh... Oh, he's, like, right overhead. Oh, hey, a guy. No, he's going. 
Also, when I was coming up with my biology stuff, I even came up with a reason as to, like, why would Charles's eggs glow in the dark? So you can see them? Yeah, I think so that either so she can see them in the darkness of the caves, or it's so that they, like, attract smaller... It's like an anglerfish situation where, like, they attract smaller prey that gets stuck in Charles's web. That way, when they hatch, the babies have, like, food just ready for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye on this guy. Yeah, I get it. He's the one person guarding the egg. We call him Trustworthy Steve. He owes me five dollars. Love that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, there's actually two people guarding this egg. There was two people at the last place, but okay. Oh right, there were. I mean, one of them was evidently on break. Just stand there. He's moving. <laughs> Shit, nothing's getting past me, one eyed Billy. The misleading name, seeing as how I've only got the one eye. Did I miss the egg? Did you? No, you couldn't have. Did you? Feels like I did. You wanna go back? Yeah. Hang on, he's probably going to be looping around. Any second now. Any second now. God, Charles is overhead. I don't like it. He's pitching a bit, dude. I hope he's at least taking out the other cult guys. Will he attack cultists? Maybe. Because I imagine they'll hide like any other NPC. This guy's very cavalier about their jobs. I kind of have to commend them on that, you know? I don't see it. Neither do I. Maybe go up that, like, elevator thing. Oh, we're going oh, down. Oh, we're going down. You look down and you're getting lowered into Charles's mouth. I can hear him. Where is he? Man, there's a ton of dudes guarding this egg. Because it's the last egg, Cody. <laughs> if somebody were to collect the eggs in a specific order, this should be the last one. So we ought to defend this one as heavily as possible. You're in the wrong place, my friend. Oh, it went back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't shoot me again! <laughs> <laughs> be a chump. There it is. Grab this it. one. Grab it! This one glows with hellfire. I went the wrong way. This one's gonna be the problem, child. Owie! Stop it! You know what I, mean. I mean, at least when he shoots you, it gives you a little boost. I, I don't oh, have time for that. Oh. I don't have time for that. I'll come back for it. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> of mine or tomb. Wasn't it up a hill? <laughs> oh, you're close to the NPC, though. Am I? Well, All right, I'll I mean, relatively the... speaking, you're not close to anything. I'm going to run to the NPC. I really hope that guy just chases me forever. Like, you're in the final boss fight, and all of a sudden he runs in. <laughs> he gets the final hit on me. I'm earning my dollar a day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's cultist pay. Jealous. <laughs> Although the benefits are great. We have dental. Uh-oh. No, no, no. He's not scared yet. Hi. You're Aren't a werewolf. You the new guy who's come here to work for us? I woo and all that? You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And unfortunately, it is not a full moon, and as such, I cannot access it. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> I'll turn nice you into a werewolf. To pay you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> you see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. Oh, come back. He never Please. even reported the cave-in. It's just very hot. 
Mr. Warren never told anybody about all the miners he has on this island. I wonder why. I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my status. Oh man, you gotta get your the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. This is a weird thing to hyper focus on, especially when you can hear Charles in the distance. Yeah. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. My werewolf hearing overheard him saying it. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're. I hope you just look into the background and you see Charles skittering towards us. I, I re I'm trying to like look behind him, but like I can't see anything. There's no way Charles myself, would appear while you're talking to an NPC, right? Here, That'd be really funny. Go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. <laughs> You're not a nice person, Ronnie. No. Some tells me you might not be a very pleasant person. I'm telling you, you're a son of a bitch. I'm willing to bet you're not one of those cool werewolves. I bet I'm willing to bet you're like one of those weird werewolves that implants on children. What? Imprints on children. Oh, Charles. No, he's not. Here. Not quite yet. He's not scared. Yeah. Didn't I tell you that about Twilight? Yeah, how he didn't imprint on Bella. He imprinted on one of her eggs. Yeah, and also I guess <laughs> one of Edward's sperm. Yeah, which means, like, he was being weirdly hostile towards him for no fucking reason. Yeah, I don't... I think the writer just sort of wrote herself into a corner. And didn't know how to write herself out of it. Yeah, so she was like, uh, Edward was never in love with Bella. He was in love with her unborn baby. Which is fucking weird, but I'm not gonna address that. Fucking Renezme. Right, that's her baby name. I know that stands for something stupid. I just can't remember. Fuck, I gotta look it up because now it's bugging oh, me. Oh, God. You're gonna look up what Renezme means? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, hang on. Please. Yeah, what does Renezme mean? Oh, God. Reborn and love. Oh, hey, more paint. Oh, we can now paint the train lime. I'm so oh, it's like a combination of like her mom's name and Edward's mom's name. No, it isn't. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh god, that's really stupid. Anyway, uh, you got this. Parkour. Charles, can you do this? And then you just fall and break your neck. I'm trying not to do that. God damn it. I, I have, like, legitimate hatred for Twilight because I used to live in a motel when I was younger. My whole family lived in a motel, and FX at one point decided that they were going to show nothing but Twilight for a week straight, and my mom really liked Twilight. Sparkle. So I have seen... <laughs> I have seen all of the Twilight movies so many times, I'm ready to beat my fucking head against a wall over it. It's a good thing Charles can't get me up here. <laughs> I, dude, that movie, that last movie has so many dumbass plot points, right? Wasn't it like the whole thing, it's like the battle never even fucking happened because like the girl made them hallucinate what would happen and it's like, yeah, you're gonna get wrecked. You ready to, you ready to get wrecked? Yeah, and what's funny is, like, apparently that whole time he was talking all kinds of shit where he was like, oh, I'm, I don't care if we die. We, we're cool like that. We'll die for our, we'll die for our own beliefs. <laughs> we'll die shit. for our sins. But and like, then the second she, like, shows him and she's like, actually, you guys, you guys will die if you, if you pick this fight. He's like, wait, shit, really? Yeah, you, wait, really? I, I was just, I was trying to be cool. And then what's worse, oh, fuck, hang on. Setting the foundation for this operation has been considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but by the logistic construction and delivery of supplies to the primary mine site. We we'll need to strike gold fast if we want any chance of avoiding bankruptcy. Well, like, not only that... Wait, hold on. I need some water, but you can continue talking. Not only that, like, right after the final battle, right, and the, 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 the final battle, after the hallucination, there's one guy who's the avatar who can, like, fucking manipulate water and earth and shit. It's stupid. After all that shit, right, and he's standing there after the hallucination, he's like, oh, shit, I might actually die. I'm kind of a bitch. I think you have to drop down. Do I? I just came from there. I mean, I guess. Do you think you can jump across to there? Okay. Uh, he's like, 
standing there like contemplating it and then like out of out of nowhere right at literally nowhere these two characters walk up that we've never seen before and they want to fight no one of them is like i i'm uh this this guy's mother and this guy is also like a half human half vampire where, where is the guy the guy or charles like i'm trying to use him as like a gauge to see where charles is ah okay I mean, it won't matter until you get close. I don't think Charles can get you up He's here. He's like down there. I can't see him. I can't see him either. Oh, well, it's fine. But th th these guys that we've never fucking seen before show up, right? Oh, he's still there, yeah. Yeah. And and the guy, it's a guy and a woman. <laughs> there he is. Look at him go. There he is. Mega Arachnus Locomotus uh -oh. in its natural habitat. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, he's coming this way. Well, it's fine. By the time you get down here, he'll be gone. I guess. But he's like, oh, I'm actually also half vampire. Uh, I aged until I looked 20, and now I'm just cool. And then the, the vampire council is like, oh, cool. If this, this, if this happened before, then I guess we're like, we're not going to bother with it. And then he just fucks he's off. He's gone. And then he just fucks off. Like, and then the movie ends. Ugh, it's fucking stupid. So they just bring in this, like, random character to explain that everything's going to be all chill? Yeah, because the Vampire Council is afraid that, like, a vampire-human hybrid will, like, threaten them somehow. Uh, oh, wait, can you read the paperwork? Paperwork. Okay, you just got it's triangle to access for it. No, you can't. Okay. I was just curious. But yeah, because the Vampire Council is like, oh, that half-human, half-vampire can threaten our way of life. We don't want that, so we're going to kill her to keep ourselves safe, I guess. Um, but then, like, this guy shows up, and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a half-human, half-vampire, and I don't mean you guys any harm. I just kind of want to live peacefully. And they're like, okay, cool. We'll believe you. No shot? <laughs> no shit, dude? Nah, dude. Real to death? <laughs> For real, is it? You gotta think you promise. Ah! If you think you promise me, I'll believe you. Kiss me on the lips, I'll believe you. Real tender laugh? <laughs> Look me in the eyes while you kiss me on the lips. Yeah, it's I, it's it's so fucking stupid. I hate it. It, may, I, oh it makes me angry. There's the avatar. One guy is just the avatar. I, I don't know what his fucking. They just like they're like oh we need we need people to fight in this war and then they go and they recruit a guy who's just the avatar. Yeah. Like he because <laughs> the world's at peace. What else is the avatar gonna do? <laughs> I think he's Sam Raimi. Not. Is it Sam Raimi? I don't know. I never watched Twilight. Oh well, it I it just, it makes me angry when I think about it because it's it's so dumb. Also, like, when Bella becomes a vampire, they tell everybody she died so that they don't have to worry about, like, you know, she's immortal and shit. Uh, and they tell her dad that she's dead, and he gets depressed, and Bella's like, oh, I don't want my dad to be depressed. And Jacob's like, oh, I'll handle it. So then he goes and reveals that he's a werewolf. Oh, Charles is gone. Wait, hang on. Let's just make sure this guy gets back into his spot. Back in place. But it's like... Jacob is like, okay, I'll handle it. And he goes and he, like, reveals he's a werewolf to, Bell to Bella's dad. And then Bella's dad kills himself. No, he's, he's like, I'm a werewolf. Bella's a vampire. We're cool. And then the guy's like, oh, neat. Thanks. And, and then that's it. That That's... <sighs> it's so dumb. Like, not even, like... He probably didn't care because he... Huh? Oh, right, I gotta give him the paperwork. Thanks for reminding me. But, like, he's probably just super depressed that his daughter's still dead. You look like Didn't a actually fix the issue. Those towers. <laughs> Dude, I... I hate Bella, too. I sure am glad I this found is a character. Spies. She's so fucking annoying. Oh. Like, uh... There's that scrap you were begging I don't know. For. I don't have anything against don't Kirsten Stewart. It she was in, in one um... place. <laughs> what movie was she... Underwater. She was in Underwater, and she was actually pretty good. Um... I don't know what else she's been in. Every time I see her, I just think about those big ass teeth. Skip, <laughs> skip. Oopies can. Oopies can. Well, like she looks like she's gonna bite somebody with those. Oh, because she is, Cody. <laughs> Wait, I don't have anything against her. I just Twilight makes me so irrationally angry. Well, yeah, because she accidentally wrote a character that ended up being a pedophile. Yeah. Because it's like you can't explain it any other way. That's just pedophile 
Yeah, also the scene where, like, Bella and Edward bone is just uncomfortable. Oh, they bone? They actually get to that point? Yeah, they bone, and Bella's like, I want you to bone me when I'm human, because I want to know what it's like. And Edward's like, I will, like, literally just turn your cervix into soup. <laughs> you want to know what it's like to have cervix soup? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I don't care. So then they, like, they do it on a boat, and he, like destroys her body and he cries about it and she's like nah I'm cool bro wasn't there a whole point about how like when she was giving birth to the kid the kid like was about to kill her so that oh shit we're going the wrong way so that like uh, Edward had to like bite her all over it to get her blood flowing again yeah and the move that movie ends with her dying like he bites her all over it doesn't do anything and she dies and Edward's like crying and shit uh, my wife is dead is that Charles yeah that's Charles but I think the writer realized that she, like, can milk another movie out of this and still had a couple of plot points she needed to clean up. So she, like, uh, she just, like, she started the next movie with, like, actually, JK, she's alive. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, this also seemed like the baby snaps her spine in half from the inside. How? Because, like, it's a vampire baby and <gasps> Bella is still, like, a normal human chick. Yeah, Bella's like a normal human chick. So, oh, Charles here. Huh? Oh, yeah, why wouldn't he? I didn't know he could be here. That's nonsense. Stay back! This gun is like doing some severe damage to Charles. Oh, it's overheated. It's overheated. Uh, first one. Oh, really? Not the rocket one? I don't know. But yeah, it's a vampire baby and. And Bella is like a normal human lady, so it like when it's kicking, it like liquefies, it like fucking destroys her organs. Good. Jesus, <laughs> man, that sure made him run away fast. Oh, you're back at the beginning. Yeah, we looped around. Damn, we're gonna have to loop Oops. around again. Yeah. Anyway, uh, fully upgraded train, and then health. Health, yeah. Which means that we can only heal the train up once during the final fight. Shit, really? Well, we don't have enough scrap. I mean, we could gather some scrap. I guess so, but also, we need to end the episode. Oh, really? Okay. We'll loop around. Okay, cool. We'll loop around in between episodes. Yeah. So, do you want to call it? Yeah. So, ladies and germs, that has been Choo Choo Charles. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and also, whatever the fuck we were talking about the whole time. Your train has horns now. Yeah. I didn't realize the appearance of your train changed as you leveled it up. Actually, it depends on the paint you have on. Really? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. There it is. You got this. There we go. I really hope Charles gets you while you're running to the temple. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we've collected all of Charles' eggs, and now we are just on our way to fuck him up. Because it is man's God-given right to destroy anything gross on this world. Is that people? That's people. Is it cultists? Yeah. Just run up. Or oh, there's one up there. I don't know. Just, you just gotta run inside. I don't like cultists. That's too bad. They smell weird. Look, those are scrap. <laughs> yeah, now who's complaining about me looking around? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Because, like, we're almost at the end of the game. We got, like, 30 minutes. There's another cultist guy over there. Did you see him? Hmm? Oh, he's gone. All right. It just fine. Yeah. I'll just run up the steps. Into the temple. I'm only here for Sunday service. Go go go. Oh, cool. Cutscene. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. Turns out this is 20 minutes. <laughs> Put them in. My God, they have to be color coordinated. And I'm colorblind. I'm red, green, colorblind. I know where you're the just, blue goes, but... You're just looking at the red and the green eggs, sweating profusely. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Step away from the shrine, stranger. Oof. You don't know what you're doing. That is a just canary yellow suit. Slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far it. too many people if you follow through. Man with, with the yellow hat went to man in the black hat. <laughs> and yellow suit. <laughs> Ever since he lost Curious George, he's been taking it so hard. Fuck you guys. You fool! You do the 
Oh shit, Charles. Did you sit on that, buddy? Yeah. It's changing. Oh shit. Kiss. How am I supposed to fight this? Kiss me. I don't want to die. Oh, oh. oh shit! Hey, you might want to. Warren, it's okay. You're a cool guy. Okay, yeah, you're kind of cool. He's morally kind of gray. Seems like or evil, kind of... evil or morally gray. Seems like he was just kind of looking out. You got this, sweetie. I believe in you. Get the flamen for fur. It hurt you. Huh? You see that? Did it hurt you? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, he can teleport now. I probably should have told you that. That would have been nice to know. You're welcome. Hey, look out! Your health. Oh, we're at the beginning. Loop around. Hell, Charles. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, shit. You got this. We got him. Look out. We got him. This is This is easy. Yo, sauce. <laughs> You're okay, it's okay. Anyway, you got the oh my god. Oh my god, he is really fucking me. Who's gonna win, Cody or this giant train spider? Uh me, because I am part of the better system. This does a fair amount of damage to it. Oh it does. Probably because it's also doing damage over time. So now it's train. Oh I can't. Oh oh you're you you get uh, it, crap, get crap, it. Crap. Oh crap, that's it. I can't heal me further. Your, your thing's overheated. Hurry, hurry! You're in the final phase. Final phase, okay. I don't think I'm gonna be if I'm being honest. I'd like to use the rocket launcher, but it's gonna damage me as well. Flamethrower! Ah, just die! You just die! Oh, you're out. You're dead. I'm done. I'm done. So I'm done. I'm done. My turn. I'm I get to, turn. I get to fight the hell spider. <laughs> uh, retry retry. fight or respawn a train? Retry the fight! Does that reset all of our scrap? Because if it does, we're good. Uh, fire. Fire! Fire! I'm fire type now. Oh, no. Fire. Get him. <laughs> Damn it! Good job. <laughs> oh. Dude, stop my train! This weapon doesn't overheat, but it just takes so long to go. Damn it! Oh, thank God. Oh, you think they would send us into this fight with no scrap? Kind of. Wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't want to use the rocket on that. It's like you just casually said train, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Your train was almost dead. Yeah, I... I didn't know. 
Well, I don't know, man. I just assumed you'd know that that's what I meant. I'm sorry. A train. <laughs> <laughs> train. L Lonnie. Lonnie, train! <laughs> Look out, there's a train. Look out. Do you think I was talking about the train that was actively attacking you? Oh. Maybe. Oh, no, here he comes. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, you're you're probably going to get him. No, man. I'm not smart. Why not? I did a cross with him up here in the fire again. The guns are the guns are what they are. Okay. 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 You wish you were a little tank, do you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might get him. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Train. Train! Okay, okay, shit, hang on. Fuck. Train! Get, I, fuck, shut up, I know! <laughs> shut up! Fuck, I put the wrong one on. Train! <laughs> <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Oh shit. I think final phase. Final phase? Final phase. Train! <laughs> Stop! Smile, you son of a bitch. Picture day! <laughs> Your parents paid a lot of money for this. They'll get really mad if you don't bring home the booklet. And your mom's not going to buy one of the pictures despite getting very upset at you. Or not, you know, bringing home the booklet. You'll explain to her that you need to pay for the booklet in order to get one, but she won't. And then she's gonna guilt trip you about not caring about memory. That was awesome. My mom bought every booklet. Yeah, I do. My mom's lovely. My mom's lovely. Fuck you. I don't know Cody, what I'm doing. Cody, you're yeah. done. Cody, you're done. I gotta make sure. <laughs> Just in the cutscene, wildly shooting. <laughs> Firing in every direction. Nice. Yeah. Oh shit. This is the scene YouTube doesn't like. <laughs> oh, I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, this is great. Uh, I wish I could put this in the thumbnail, but it's probably too bloody. Oh, we might just staple this onto the end of the game. <sighs> the last episode. Maybe. But that just means that we, we have to record another episode at some point. Not of this game. Of something else. Of something else. Oh, we you can just time. play another game if you want. <laughs> we have a lot of different options. In fact, if you guys have any recommendations for stuff you'd like to see us play, leave it in the comments. It probably won't be the immediately next game, because like that'll be way too close. Yeah, but we'll try to make it. We'll try to factor it in if we can. I like how we just sit here and look at the dead spider. Well, I mean, he's got a lot of juice in that thing. Yeah. Let's come back and drink it. <laughs> Juice for everyone. Drink the spider's blood to, to establish dominance. It's strawberry high sea flavored. <laughs> Eat the spider, nerd. And that was really just the end of the game. Okay. Yeah, but we got a final cutscene to finish off here. Cool. We didn't find the Gus the Bus thing. That's because it's... Oh, you mean the, the paper. Yeah, you can find like a page that... Oh, I was like, Cody, Gus the Bus isn't in this game. <laughs> you can find this page uh, that talks about how there's another creature called Gus the Bus that Charles is apparently afraid of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Although, I, I did bring this up. If Charles is just a regular biological animal, it probably takes them a very long time to get as big as Charles. Huh. That would be an issue. What, this? Yeah, the amount of eggs, but I imagine, given how small they are, and if it does take them a very long time to get to maximum size, uh, it's probably that a lot of them don't survive. And if this is Parthenogenesis, which means the child, all these babies are just clones of Charles, essentially, a lot of them are probably sterile eggs. 
He was born pregnant. Shut up. Shut up. Who knows what I'm talking about? <laughs> Sound off in the comments, please. Torture Cody. <laughs> Shut up, you nerd. Anyway, we should probably call it. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I already did the outro. <laughs> so what you gonna do about it, nerd? I don't know. Steal it. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.